Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for joining me once again. This is look number two of my 12 glam looks for Christmas. Um, today's look is we're using a lot more brownier tones and we're going a lot darker on the eyes and a lot more paler on the lips. If you would like to see how I recreate this look, keep watching this video and don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on my notifications. Thank you guys. Mwah. Okay, so guys, I have my foundation on and obviously, as I did say in the previous, in the introduction, this look is slightly a little bit heavier, hence why I want to show you how I would highlight and contour um, when I'm doing a slightly heavier look. So, same as before, I'm going to go in with my NARS cream, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. So, I've put that in all the areas that I would highlight and now I'm going to go in with this. This is a Prep and Prime Stick by Macazor and this is in the shade bright forecast and all this is going to do is it's just going to make our under eye area a little bit lighter and again this look is slightly heavier so i've let that set for a bit and i'm going to go in with my beauty blender and i'm just going to blend out the edges so like that and now this is the bit where it gets we're really starting to build on it instead of doing the powder contour i'm going to do cream contour and then set with powder but i'm going to use my all-time favorite palette which is this one here and this one is the mac pro conceal palette in the shade dark and i'm going to use the darkest one which is this color here in nw55 And to blend that out, I'm going to go in with my MAC 164 brush. And to blend out my nose contour, I'm going in with my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush, um, which is in the number 231. I'm connecting that to just the beginning of my brow. Okay, so now everything's all nice and blended out and I'm just going to go in and set it with the usual translucent powder, which is my absolute fave. So I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit. Now we're going to go in and set this contour with powder. This is what is going to emphasise and kind of make the contour stand out a lot nicer so obviously with my good old trusty um palette that i've used in my previous video which is this one here i'm going to go in with the middle color again with my zoeva um 127 brush and then we're going to go in with the powder just to wipe off and blend all the colors together. So what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna wipe away what we've done. Um, I'm not gonna wipe away the powder underneath the eye area just cause I'm gonna leave that there for any fallout we might potentially get with the eyeshadow look that we are going to do. So I've gone ahead and um, set my lid and then now we're gonna go and do the eyeshadow. With me, I don't tend to use eyeshadow bases. I prefer to use the concealer which I've used which is the same concealer that I dragged down from when I concealed my brows which was the NC45 Polo Wear Concealer. So this one here and then I've just simply just set it with my dark mineralized skin finish powder which is this one here. So this is probably going to be again very simple, very easy, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to make you do impossible looks because these are looks that i do want you guys to potentially to potentially recreate um for this season grab your eyeliner so this is a pencil eyeliner and this one is the shade feline and this one is from mac so i'm gonna go in and line my eye so the top bit here Okay, so like that. Going in with my small shader brush, the 228 brush from MAC, which is this one here. 
I'm going to dip into my contour powder. I'll be using this palette a lot, by the way. I'm going to go into this colour here. The reason why I'm using this palette, the contour palette, because I like the brown shades in the palette because they are true browns. And sometimes I find some brown eyeshadows are too red. Like they're too ready brown. So I'm just going to use that and smudge the eyeliner. So I'm literally just smudging the edge of the eyeliner with the brown that I've just picked up. Once that's blended out, I'm going to go in with this colour here and it's the Inglot 305 um, eyeshadow. Yeah, it's an eyeshadow. And I'm going in with my MAC 221 brush. It's the small blending brush, which is this one here. And I'm just going to go on top. And I'm doing small circular motions just like that. Just to kind of... And then with another Inglot eyeshadow, this one here, taking my 224 brush, this is the 299 shade. And I'm just going to blend that on the edge. Just to add some warmness to the eye. Cure motions. And then now, we're just going to go back and do the bottom part as well. So we're going to get the eyeliner that we used. And then we're just going to line your waterline. The waterline, you're going to take the eyeliner a little bit lower. So just underneath the lash line. And then again, without putting any product on your brush, on the first brush, so the 228 brush that we used to smudge the eyeliner, we're just going to go ahead and smudge that out. So you just want to take your time with it. And then dipping back into the Inglot 305 eyeshadow with the same brush. I'm just going to blend that out. Smoke it out at the bottom a little bit. And then lastly, go in with the 229. And then add that to the bottom as well, but you only want to add a little bit. Now we can go ahead and dust that off. So now that the eyes are complete, I'm gonna go in and add the lashes I will be right back okay the lashes are on and now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the skin for blusher I'm not gonna use your know, ordinary blusher I'm gonna go in and use um, one of my contour shades I'm gonna mix the two just because I want my skin to be like really brown like I don't want it to have like too much color so I want to keep everything quite brown quite neutral and bronze and stuff I'm gonna go back in to my contour um, palette which is this one here and I will list it below and I'm gonna go in with a normal blush brush so this one here so it's just a small brush brush this one's from Cryolan it's a blusher brush and I'm gonna go in and mix these two shades here. we are loving that absolutely loving that and this look is slightly a bit more heavier but so again because I want to keep the skin quite brown and stuff I'm not going to use like a gold I'm going to use more of like a bronzy highlighter which is this one here and this one is called glow with it by MAC and I'm going to pick this up on my 224 brush With the nose, red, obviously. You've got to, you've got to be kidding me. Again, I want everything to be blended, brown, nothing bare. So I'm going to go in with this here, which I've been loving. This is by Inglot as well, and it is their HD lip tint. And these ones are matte, and I'm using it in the shade 48. So we're going to go ahead and add that on. You've, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Liner, and I'm just going to put that on top. All over. I just, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just to fill in the colour a bit more. And again, because, because I want this 
to be quite nice and glowy. I'm gonna go in with me Fenty Beauty lip gloss, this one. In the, it's the universal one, it's the only one she's got. I'm just gonna pop that on top. I'm gonna put some mascara on our bottom lashes. And that is the look completed. So thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you found this video really helpful and I hope it's not too hard for you guys to recreate because you hardly need that many products. It is very easy. You can wear this to your Christmas parties, to your New Year's parties, or maybe, I don't know, to go to the corner shop, who knows. I hope you find this useful and I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching again and don't forget to subscribe and turn on my notifications and everything. I've used I will list in the description box below because I'll never leave you guys hanging like that and yeah have a good Christmas I think it's not Christmas yet but yeah have a good December or have a good day or a good week or whatever so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye thank you